Hey guys, if you've been to my channel before, you know that I post some 3D programmetry and 3D printing content and today I got myself a handheld 3D scanner. The scanner that I'm using is the CR Scan Ferret from the same people that make the Creality 3D printers. The scanner can be used with an Android phone or connected to a laptop. I use it with a laptop, the setup was super simple, you just download the software, plug in one cable into the USB port. It has to be a USB 3 port because the data throughput is uh, pretty high. Uh, and then you're ready to go. So I used it to solve a problem that didn't really need solving, but uh, I like to solve it anyway. I have these uh, lights outside and they keep falling over, the lawn people keep hitting them, the wind knocks them over. They're just stuck in the ground with stakes and they're not level or anything. So I wanted to be able to mount them onto the rocks and I thought before maybe I can like drill through and mount them that way, but once I got the scanner, uh, it kind of hit me that I could just scan the stone and then uh, 3D print a little bracket that will sit on top of the stone and I'll be able to mount all of the lights. So in order for the lights to be uh, plumb or level, uh, I put a stake into the ground next to the where I wanted the light placed and I made sure it was uh, plumb with a level and then I proceeded to scan making sure I got the stake as well. Uh, once the scan was done, uh, I just brought it into uh, Maya. Once I brought it into Maya, I made a cube and lined it up to the stake. That way I can then group the uh, 3D scan inside the cube and then just uh, set the cube uh, rotations to zero. And that will make sure that the scan is level. Uh, then I can just make a cylinder and use a boolean operation to delete the cylinder from delete the stone from the cylinder and that gives me a perfect match to the rock. What's great about the scanner uh, versus photogrammetry is that you don't have to worry about scale because whenever you do photogrammetry you need some kind of marker, some way to scale the geometry that you get. With the scanner everything was perfect scale. I wasn't sure if it was going to be so I made sure to take measurements and it was perfectly exactly scaled uh, to the real world uh, which saved a lot of time and then i just made a cylinder the same width as the um the light and then uh subtracted it from subtracted the stone from that cylinder and then modeled a little bracket that would sit on top to hold the light
So I'm printing all of the bases separately from the little nub that holds the light. Uh, that way I can print all the nubs separately and then print the base uh, as I scan them. Uh, I scanned one, I need to scan 11 more, so it's gonna be a long project, but I was able to print all the little nubs that I will then glue onto the bases. Um, I'm using PTG to print because it has a higher melting point, PLA will not hold up in the sun, and uh, I'm using pretty um, basic, uh, like pretty fast uh, printing settings, uh, 20 millimeter, uh, 0.2 millimeter of speed, and I'm using Intel of 20. It's about three hours to print. After I printed the first nub, I realized that I can redesign it so that I wouldn't need supports. So all I needed to do was just print it as a wedge. That way I could just uh, print without any supports and save on print time and save on some filament. I was really surprised how well it fit on the first try. Um, it fits perfectly. Like You almost don't need any glue. I did end up using some uh, construction adhesive, and not a lot, just a little bit. It will just hold it, and if I ever need to remove them, if I just tap with a hammer, it'll break the construction adhesive off. And what's great about this uh, project is that it makes all the lights, lights perfectly straight. They're all lined up. Um, so once I do the rest of the lights, uh, it's gonna look great, and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. If I were to do this for a grammetry, it would just take too long using uh, the handheld scanner saves so much time uh, because from scanning to, um, to 3D printing is only about you know 10-15 minutes where before I had to process all the photos, ex then export the model, then scale the model. This is just so much faster. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more 3D printing and 3D scanning, especially with the scanner. Uh, so please stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.